Hi everybody! Today's video will be a little different from the usual ones. It will show my experience with the MB326. This is a MB-326, a two-seater trainer jet aircraft created by Air Mackey, designed in the late 50s and entered service in the early 60s. This aircraft had a great success both in Italy and in the export market, where circa 800 were sold to 12 nations, some of which were Argentina and South America that also deployed it during conflicts. South Africa used the license-built MB-326M called Impala Mark I and the license-built but slightly modified MB-326K called Impala Mark II between 1975 and 1989 against the People's Armed Forces for the Liberation of Angola and the Cuban Expeditionary Force. The South African Impala scored multiple air kills against helicopters using Matra Magic missiles and was useful in the role of ground striker using free fall dumb bombs and the unguided SNAB rockets. Argentina had a number of MB-326 that were redeployed along the coastlines of the mainland during the Falkland War to strengthen the defense, but never took part in any fighting. The aircraft I had the chance of flying on at Vola Fenice was the MB-326E, one of the six ever made, being the armed trainer version created for the Italian Air Force. This MB-326E was part of the sixth wing of Gedi called Diavoli Rossi, Red Devils. There I had also the chance of seeing the only airworthy MB-326K, the single-seat variant created to work as a light ground attacker, the only Italian variant with integrated cannons. This aircraft still has the original logo of the Reparto Sperimentale di Volo.
After the takeoff, performed by the pilot instructor, I had a bit of time to acclimatize myself with the controls of the aircraft, doing some light turns, experiencing also the climbing and pitching performance. We then moved to perform some maneuvers, starting with two wing overs, one to the left and one to the right, where the aircraft is pitched up almost vertically, to then turn to be at the same altitude as the start, but in the opposite direction. We then performed a tono, a maneuver where the aircraft completes a rotation on the longitudinal axis. We actually performed what in Italian is known as tono a botte, where the aircraft does a rotation in an helicoidal form. To finish off, we performed a loop, a maneuver where the aircraft completes a full loop pitching up. This maneuver has been the most physically demanding for me, fleeing the anti-G suit coming into action to avoid the loss of consciousness. Later, I had the chance of performing such maneuvers once again, but this time myself at the control of the aircraft, before landing back down to complete what was the best experience of my life.